Hello, Serge here for the Backyard Driving Range. All right, today I want to talk about a, a PGA Tour professional. I believe this is his second year on the tour, and he just came up with his first win. And all you, all you Sergeites out there, I know when you see this gentleman, the first thing you're saying is, wow, he's PPGS. And I'm talking about Bryson DeChambeau. He is, uh, he's really... He really looks like a PPGS, and I mean, he's not he's not that far off. And I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you what to watch out for when you watch his swing, because he's 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 PPGS without a doubt with three quarters, all right. But that's about where he finish, That's about where it ends. The biggest problem I see with Bryson is setup wise, he sets up pretty good. As far as getting in a good posture, good athletically ready, I think uh, that that his head's in a pretty good position. All of that looks good, but where 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 Bryson gets off from PPGS is, or we could call it out of bounds from PPGS, is he's rotational. He turns his shoulders way too much, both in the backswing. He's way here in the, in the, inside the sacred burial ground, and his hands are way out over here. And in the forward swing, he's finishing way over there. Now, conversely, as we know, the more one turns, right, your arms can swing vertical in front of your body. And, and when you get in posture, they still stay in front of your body. Your arms come up here. Look at the angle of my right arm right here. It's here. It's not back there. So once one is forced to turn and, 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 and it's forcing a bigger turn, trying to make that really big turn, you turn your body this far, your spine your spine's going to start changing because your hips are going to start changing. And in many cases, the reason why they start changing is as you turn your hips more, you can't, as you turn your torso more, because the shoulders and the hips are connected. Remember, we got three boxes, shoulder to hips, hips to knees, knees to, knees to ankles. They're three boxes. They're all, and basically, the, 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 the middle box, the knees to the hips are, Right in the middle, so they get the brunt of all the torquing that goes on and twisting. And no matter what, they're also going to change what happens in the lower box as well as the upper box. So all the boxes are all the boxes are interconnected, intertwined together. So once once one turns the shoulders way too much, as you turn, the hips come inside. What's it do? Now most most players, everybody, it's going to start straightening the leg a little bit as the hip goes up and back. Now again, the key is. We want, to, we want to sit or sink into the right side. So when I stand here, when I go down, my right knee is actually at, or maybe I got, I've created a little bit more angle here, just like a baseball pitcher throwing a ball. Our tennis players, they throw a ball up and they go down and they go get it. Now they go down and up more because why? They're hitting the ball up there. We're hitting the ball down here. So we're still gonna have a little bit of that sit or sink in it. I can get here and make a good sit or sink and just move about one inch, move my whole torso up here one inch and I can pick up my left foot. I can't tell you how many times I've, I've seen, I've seen surgites who have, who thought they're doing the correct turn. They get up here and I say, okay, and what have they done? They've turned too much. And as you turn, it'll tend to, this goes up, this goes down. And now if I say, which way, close your eyes, or which way could you move your, 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 your top of your spine one way and pick up the other foot, they think they, they want to go this way and they got to get about to there before they can pick it. Pick it up. But over here, they could go like that and pick it up and say, holy cow, I'm not on my right side. I'm on my left. Yeah, that's what I call EBRT, and the backswing reverse tilt. Okay? So we want to stay level. So Bryson is turning way too much back here. His hands and club are way out here. The other thing I noticed on him the other day is, watch this. We come up, if, if you swing back and swing up uh, PPGS, look at the triangle of my hands to my elbows. It is on um, the bottom, the elbows are almost parallel to the ground. Mr. DeChambeau, he's got a pretty big tilt to his arms, which is further proof that, that he's, he's too far inside and his club is not vertical enough. See the difference? And so realistically, your right hand and right elbow, if you swing it straight up, the right hand's above the left hand. Here, they're almost pretty close to being on the same plane. You with me? And guess what happens? He, Ed, the same thing happens on this side. He's got a reverse tilted, a triangle that's tilted downward rather than being up here almost exactly elbows horizontal to the ground. All right, and conversely on this side, 
you're going to see that that elbow's out here, the hands are behind the body, and he's coming down. And when he recalls, he's not as straight up as we need to, as we are, as PPGS says you should be, and what your physiology says you should be, so that you finish square to the ground. Here's a, here's a T, ice, heads vertical to the, uh, to the spine, to the shoulders, and the nose is looking at the ball, the eyes are horizontal to the ground, and that's critically important why, because of balance. If you stand up here and you stand like this, you got your, your brain's having to work a lot harder, burn a lot more energy, try to keep you balanced. All right, you should be able to get to that T finish, recall and relax, and then walk away when you want to walk away in perfect balance. And the other good thing about it is, is when you finish this way, as you come through and you stand up faster, you're, you're going to see the perfect flight of the ball that you're hitting. Your brain will see it as it's actually happening, as compared to staying under like this, like a lot of golfers. It's tilted, and their brain is getting... It can't really get a good feedback on what your body just did in terms of your muscle movement and your eyes seeing the ball fly to say that, to, to really get everything logically into your head where your, where your brain knows what's happening and, and it's all fitting in, into, the same, into the same vision that you're seeing it. Like I said, if you were gonna, if, if, you did, if you did throw a ball up there, you wouldn't throw it and then look like this to get a good vision of where, where the ball's going and how it's going. And that's the key. What we see gets to our brain, and it figures out what all the muscles did. So you have to be in finishing in a good T-finish balance to get the best analysis that your eyes can give your brain and your muscles. He's close, but yet at the same time, he is kind of far. But remember, he's young, he's athletic, and he's got a lot of, he's strong, and he can do things with a golf club that, and control it more than most of us can. So he's got an advantage there. If he ever really got true PPGS, well, I'd love to see him hit. I'd like to see what he can do then. Well, that's it for today, and I'll be talking with you all again soon.